Hi guys, um, I'm back with another video and I'm starting something today which I haven't done for absolutely ages. I used to do regularly monthly favourites a long time ago but I got out of the habit of it. But I'm going to start up doing them again. So this is a combined January-February favourites. Um, just some of the beauty things that I've been loving over the last couple of months. So we'll get started. We'll start with makeup. <coughs> And the first thing that I fell in love with is a Christmas present and it was from my mum and it's an eyeshadow palette. Now I have been given one of these away on my blog. I don't think this is, video is going to go up in time for you to actually end the giveaway but if I link below you should be able to see a full review of the palette and some swatches. And it is the Balm Nude Dude Volume 2 Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it comes in a slip case. As you can see, and let's get this, try and get this out. This is what it looks like. It is very, very pretty. Um, I've heard some iffy things about the first one in this, but I don't have any complaints over this one. Um, the paler shadows, the pigmentation is nuts. The darker shadows, the pigmentation is nuts. Um, it blends really well, it's got some lovely colours in, I love nude eyeshadow palettes and if you do this one's definitely one to go for. I'm going to have a look at the first one in the flesh to see what I think of it before I buy it but I do quite, based on this one I do want the first one but we'll see. But yeah, that's what it looks like, very nice. Um, it's got pinky nudes, bronzers, greys, aubergines, all different colours um, and you get a little shadow liner brush and while it's not a full size it's a pretty decent one and I'm sorry my needs washing but definitely. Um, I'm not sure how much this is but I know they sell the balm in some larger super drugs now and I know you can get it on a few different websites I think Debenhams as well um, but yay I like it. Next up something that I've been wearing alongside it a few times and it is, I've only got the mini size and again this is something that I've reviewed on my blog, a link below so you can see a link to this. Um, this actually came in a, in a kit, um, a benefit kit, Do The Hula, which is all about bronze. Hula is one of my favourite bronzers of all time, but this is the liquid matte version. So, yay. It doesn't come out in the UK till the end of this month, I think it's already out in the US. But I would thoroughly recommend this, especially if... You're having a no, either a no makeup day or you're, you look pale and pasty, which is just me all over this year so far. Um, we've had snow again today. It's not lying, but it's just miserable outside, hence I've got the lights on and everything in here. But um, yeah, I'll show you what this looks like. Now, I've got to admit, it does look totally terrifying, especially if you're pale pink toned like me. That's what it looks like. Oops. There we go. There we go. Yeah. But, blend it out, it looks worse. But, keep blending it. Keep blending it. And, instant suntan. And you can't see it at all because the light's too bright now. But you can kind of see it there. Instant suntan. Just a little bit on your cheeks. Contour, bronze, make yourself look a bit more healthier. Um, I will be getting the full size of this. And I'll add it to my ever-growing benefit list. Um, I also want the full size of the new Shy Beam and the new Dandelion, whatever it's called. There's a new version, liquid version of Dandelion that I want to try as well. But yeah, don't take this on face value. Blend it in, blend it down and then use a tiny little bit. Don't overuse it because that was a mistake I made at first. I wondered why it looked a bit mask-like. If you're darker skin, you could definitely wear this on its own. Um, I've normally been wearing over a touch of tinted moisturiser or BB cream because my skin hasn't been perfect enough. But definitely recommend that, but please don't take on face value and first squeeze, blend it and play with it a bit, but it is nice. Right, something that I've been wearing with both of those, and it's a little baby size. Um, I haven't used that much of this unfortunately because I'm loath to use it because I'm going to end up have to, having to buy the full size. Now, it is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I took my Charlotte Tilbury Ginity um, before Christmas by, by buying this little tiny little gift set and it was K-I-S-S-I-N-G kissing from under the lipstick tree. 
hanging from the lipstick tree. And what they are, they were little lipstick charms. The, and it's the ideal world you could hang on your Christmas tree. And the shade that I got, um, there was three shades, Bitch Perfect, Penelope Pink, and I think it was So Marilyn, which is a bright red. But the one I've loved more than anything else, and I thought it would be Bitch Perfect, it's actually Penelope Pink. Right, I'll do a little. I'm trying to find a bit that's not bronzed. It's very much a sort of peachy nude, nudey pink, and it is really, really pretty. But it's tiny, and I'm going to end up having to repurchase it. I have a Charlotte Tilbury list, the length of my arm, but it is so expensive. Um, so that's on my list, as is the new one. Is it Pillow Talk, one of the new ones, new lipsticks? Um, I've already got a, I got a Charlotte Tilbury kit for Christmas, but believe it or not, I haven't touched it because I haven't had a chance to photograph it yet. Um, but I will be, but I would thoroughly recommend a Penelope Pink. If you like MAC lipsticks, they smell a bit like MAC lipsticks with the cocoa butter and the vanilla -y taste. But um, the rose gold packaging is to die for, and even this little mini one is adorable. Final makeup item that I'm going to show you. Right, I've just realised something is in my bedroom, so I'm going to have to stop this and start again, which is really annoying. Um, but never mind. Right. Next makeup item I'm going to show you is a blusher. Now it's not something I've been wearing with either of those palettes. It's when I've gone for a cooler makeup look. And it is a blusher. Now these have been out for a little while now. And it is by Max Factor. And it is the Cream Plush, sorry, Cream Puff a Blush number 15 Seductive Pink. Now let's have a look and see what it looks like. As you can see mine's quite well used. And it is so pretty. Basically that big molded blushes and this one's got a pink and a peach tone. I'll do it, I can see it on my finger there, but I'll put a bit on my wrist there so you can see it there. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm wearing it now. It goes perfectly with the natural pink tones of my skin. Um, and I, yeah, I really, really like it. Um, it's really pretty. Um, so yeah, um, there's a few other colours in this. Initially I was going to get more, but to be honest, I've got so many blushes. I just went for the one in the end. I've had this one for a few months and it weighs well. You don't need a lot of it. Um, but yeah, I really like that. And that is Seductive Pink. Right, I'm going to show you these two items and then I'm going to have to stop and go and get the other things out of my room. Now, um, if you follow my blog, you'll know that I've been raving and raving and raving about these two products and they are from the body shop apologies they are christmas limited edition so you may get them in some outlet stores now but otherwise maybe wait till next christmas fingers crossed um and they are the glazed apple so you've got the glazed apple body butter and the glazed apple shower gel and i absolutely love this stuff the first year it came out, I have to admit, I wasn't sure because I didn't think it was apple enough. I like proper apple scent. But this is, it's much sugarier and sweeter, but you've got a touch of sharpness. It is absolutely adorable. I literally smothered myself in this the other day, as you can see. Um, I've got some minis and some full sizes. I just absolutely love this. You could like lick your arm, and in fact, I did try that, but it didn't taste as good as it smelled. Don't do that. Don't do that. But... I, want, I had to see if it's not tasted as good as it's not, and it didn't. Oh, it's adorable. I love body shop body butters at the last of times. So if you need a real hit of moisture, so have a shower or a bath, slather these all over, put your pyjamas on and just let it do, do its thing. Um, they do take a little while to absorb, but well worth it. I have, let's see, I could probably grab you a few from here. There's a cocoa butter one. I've got some... I've, I can see a, a vanilla brulee one from here. I've got these everywhere. The cocoa butter is my favourite and I do continue to buy the cocoa butter out of the normal range. But this is adorable. I just absolutely love this. Body Shop, if you're listening, bring this back. Make sure you bring this back because I will be really disappointed if you don't. Um, yeah, and that's the shower gel. That's just a mini one. But Body Shop glazed apple, adorable. Love this. Right, now, I'm an idiot. I left some products in my room. So I'm just going to pause this for a minute. And, and I'll be back. back in a second. Right. Now, these two products were sent to me for review purposes. Um, I haven't reviewed them yet, but the review will be going up in the next week, maybe the next week. So when it's live, I'll link it below because I think you really need to read the view to understand what these are. Now, because of my illnesses, various illnesses, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, 
hypermobility, thyroidism, all sorts of different illnesses. I have rubbish hair. My hair literally falls out in chunks. Everybody loses hair, especially when your hair is longer. You do lose hair when you wash your hair and so on and when you brush it. I wasn't losing a few strands. I was losing chunks of hair. To the extent I've lost so much over the years that when my hair's grown back, it's grown back wavy and curly. It never used to be like that. And it's the only thing I can think of is because obviously I've lost so much of it over the years. Um, it's change texture. Now I'm not saying my hair doesn't grow back, it's nothing as serious as that. My hair does grow back but it's been thinning. When your hairdresser notices your hair's gone thin then you think mm, there is something maybe going wrong here. Unfortunately there's not much I could do. Um, there isn't much I could do in that scenario. You can't make yourself better, you can't stop taking drugs and so on. Drugs, I mean medication, not drugs. <laughs> Um, so, um, I was offered the chance to try some products for people with women, particularly with thinning hair. Um, just hair that wasn't what it was, basically. I mean, it, it is a thing of getting older as well, your hair doesn't stay the way it was. Um, so, I was sent some products. Um, there's five products all together in the women's collection. There's a, vit uh, hair, a vitamin, um, a shampoo and conditioner, a hair serum and a botanical solution for the hair. Um, I'm not going to go into too much in the scientific bit of here because basically I can't remember it and as I say I'll do a full review on my blog. But the brand is called Reseed. Um, it's available on their own website. I think it's reseedhair.co.uk. I could be wrong. I'll link it in the blog post and I'll try and link it that below. It's also available, I think it's a John Bell in Croydon. It's available at the moment and from later in this year it's going to be available in Boots. Now, I'm always sceptical about whether a shampoo or something, you're just rubbing something against your hair, it's going to make a difference. But I really think this has made a difference. From losing chunks of hair when I've washed it, I now only use the, the normal few strands that you would expect. I've gone through a couple of bad patches where it has gone worse again, but that's just the way it is. But by and large, my hair's made a big difference. I was able to dye it. I put some colour on it, which I hadn't done for a long time because I hadn't felt able to. Admittedly, it was henna. I put some lush henna on it. But I was able to do that without worrying that I was going to lose half my hair when it came out. Um, now, the two products that are go are, I'm going to include in this favourites list um, are just two of the products of the range. I don't know which ones have made the difference, but I know the shampoos and conditioners make a difference the first time you use them. So that's the reason why I'm including these. Now, I'm gonna, not going to lie, these are not cheap. I think these are about £25 a bottle, which, quite frankly, is really, really high. And it's something that I don't think I'm personally going to be able to afford to continue with. I mean, to be fair, though, these have lasted me easily a couple of months. Um, I wash my hair two or three times a week, max, and they've lasted me a couple of months. But they're not cheap, and I'm not going to say that they all. But if you want to try something out, as I say, just because it's worked for me, it doesn't mean it'll work for you but there are clinical trials to say this stuff does work. Now, the shampoos, all of, all of the products are basically based on natural ingredients. There's a lot of natural ingredients in all of the products, um, things to stimulate the scalp and so on, from aromatherapy ingredients to plant extract. Now, the first thing is the shampoo, which is the Reseed Jinko and Sa Sabel or Sa Sable Fortifying Shampoo with essential pro-vitamins and minerals. It's suitable for all hair types. It's... I don't know, can you see that? Maybe. It's a clear sort of off-white gel and it smells really nice and I can't place the smell. It reminds me of something but I don't know what it is. It's fresh, it's slightly fruity, slightly floral, slightly herbal. But yeah, I've probably got enough for another couple of weeks worth of washes in there and that's about all I'll have left. You don't need a lot. It foams up. Um, you've, what, what you do is you foam it up, you leave it on your hair for a couple of minutes and then you rinse it off. And then you follow up with the conditioner, or as per usual, I always have more conditioner left. I'm one of these people that uses twice as much shampoo as I do conditioner. And this is the Reseed Wheat Brown Ultra Volume Conditioner with Pomegranate Colour Protect. Um, this one smells more like a traditional hair conditioner. It doesn't have a great deal of smell, but you smell it and you think, yeah, that, I've probably had a conditioner that smelled like that. But instantly, your hair almost feels as though it's plump. When you rinse it out, my hair takes longer to dry. I, I, more often than not, I dry my hair naturally. I can't deal with holding hair dryers. So I dry my hair naturally and it takes longer to dry after I've washed with this. And I don't know why that is, but I definitely think this has done something. 
Um, so as I say, these two are basically, if I could afford it, I think in the long term there would be fixtures in my bathroom cabinet. But I think it's going to be basically uh, going to be an occasional purchase for when I go through bad spells. Um, but I would thoroughly recommend you give these a go if you have any sorts of problems with thinning hair. Or even if you just want thicker hair or your hair is feeling a bit lank, a bit of lack in life, then I would try recommend giving these a go. Um, I'll link, as I say, the post's not live at the minute, but I will link, to, link it below when it is live. Um, so you can refer back to that and I'll show you everything and tell you everything about what these and what they supposedly do and about the two serums that you get as well. But, as I say, I definitely think it's made a difference to mine, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, final thing I'm going to show you. Basically, um, I've decided what with to sort of pimp up favourites for restarting favourites. I'm going to, in this each month I'm going to include something e extra that's not beauty or beauty related basically. So it can be a food, lifestyle, anything. And this time, I guess, it, it is a bit of a beauty product. It's a personal care product, I guess. And it's something that I've absolutely loved. And it's such a silly purchase. When I bought it, I thought, yeah, well, I might use it once or twice. Oh my God, you'd be surprised how often I use it. I have really twitchy skin. I'm one of these people, um, I think it's due to medication. A lot of people get the same thing and it's that the describe it as ants crawling over your skin. That's what it's, my skin sometimes feel like. And it's horrible, it's awful, and nothing puts it right. So more often than not, my back gets itchy and there's nothing I can do. So, in steps, gorgeously cute, extendable back scratcher. Now this came from Pound World. Um, I absolutely love this, it was a pound. And it's fabulous. You can get right the way down, good scratch, without having to involve anyone else in your personal scratchiness. Um, and I absolutely love this. I've used it to death. I bought my mum one because it, I thought it was so cool. Um, yeah, so a bit of a silly one here, but my first lifestyle ex uh, extra of the year is a back scratcher. So, yay. If you've ever had an itchy back and there's no one to itch it for you, you'll know the struggle. So there you go, thoroughly recommend that. Um, I'll do a link below of all the products that I've mentioned. If I've done a review or anything, or swatches or anything, I'll link them below as well. The reseed review will be coming, and yeah. So, that was that. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, next video should be an unboxing, possibly birch box, because I know that was dispatched. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, please leave me a comment. At some point, I am going to get around to moderating my comments. So if you have left me a comment in the past few weeks, I haven't been moderating them, which is a slap wrist for me. But I will get around to them. If any of you ask any questions, I will be replying soon. So please bear that in mind. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow my blog, my Twitter, my social media. You can find that on my profile page. And I'll see you soon. Bye.